and welcome to Creative Moments by G. I'm Georgia and so happy that you're with us tonight. It is Thursday, April 14th at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. So if you're here then, you know you're live with us and we are so excited. If you hop on, go ahead and say hi. Remember, my sister Maudie and I go on this creative journey together. And so she's in the chat room. Like I like to say, she always has all the answers. So if you have any questions, just ask Maudie and she is there for you. And just to chat. We would love to just chat with you. I see that we have Anne on. Anne, welcome, welcome. We are so happy that you made it. And we love your little emoji. If you hop on, give us an emoji. Let us know how you're feeling tonight. Today, we are going to work with layering cards, but we are going to work with one of the new stamp sets from Stampin' Up! Happiness Abounds. Now, this is a beautiful, beautiful stamp set, and when we head down to the crafting table, I'm going to show you the dies that go along with it because it's really very special, everything that's provided. Hey, Carol, so happy that you made it. My goodness, we are so happy. Now, if you are joining us on the rebroadcast, take a moment and leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought about this video. Did you like the cards? Which was your favorite? We truly love to read each and every comment, and we do answer them, and we just appreciate all our crafting friends. Well, next week on Tuesday, that's when we have our YouTube Live at 10 o'clock. Now, we won't be here, but we are going to have our video go, go up. It's our It's a Snap, It's a Wrap, where Maudie and I actually create a card together. So we think you're really going to enjoy that. We won't be here because we're going to take a few days off this weekend, and we're going to go to Florida. Oh my goodness, we have uh, some fun things planned. We're thinking about maybe taking an airboat ride. We're going to go to uh, the Palm Springs Zoo. Uh, that's supposed to be a fantastic zoo. So if you have any recommendations for the Fort Lauderdale area, let us know tonight in the chat. We would love to read about them. Hey, Susan, so happy that you're joining us. And Pat... We are very excited. We have actually a whole little gift pack that we are gonna do tonight. We're gonna create a card, the envelope, and a treat keepsake. This is gonna be perfect for this holiday weekend. You could stay up, you could get this made tonight or tomorrow because it is fairly easy, and you could present this to your family and friends. So, so cute. So I say let's go ahead and head down to the crafting table and let's get started. First, I wanna show you this beautiful, beautiful DSP. Thank you, Pat, we're going to. Don't you love this DSP? Oh my goodness. Now they give you a sheet that actually you can use the dies on to cut out. And stay with us to the end because I'm going to show you one of our cards we actually used this DSP. Now I wanted to show you the dies. I mean, I don't know if you remember, but we had another stamp set that had this beautiful font that had the curved tails on it that was just so pretty. And so look at those dies. You can cut out all the flowers, the leaves, the small flowers. And look at this really cool die. Oh my goodness, let me show you what it does. It actually cuts into the paper. Can you see that? Isn't that pretty? Oh, hey, Glow. So happy you're with us tonight. It is so pretty. But you know something else I like about those dies? Look at this border that you can cut into the paper. I love that. How cute would that be to go ahead and cut all around your mat using that die? So cute. So, let me show you the card. Now, this is what the card is going to look like. We have simply created our own background. We've added a mat in between. We've added dimensionals on all the mats. We think you're really gonna like it. And we have two cards to show you at the end, so stay with us. So the first thing you're gonna need to do 
is grab your base card. Now we've decided to go ahead and use Parakeet Party. We love this paper. Hey Phyllis, welcome. We love, love this paper. Very similar to Granny Apple, right? But it, it's just a little lighter than Granny Apple. So we have this, pa this card, we're just going to put it to the side. But the next thing that we need to do is you need to get all these mats cut. Now the white mat is what you're going to layer. So you could move these shapes around. You don't have to have them the way we have them. But we just think it makes a really nice card. And the measurements on these, I want you to remember, you can listen and write them down tonight. But they will also be over on creativemomentsbyg.com. So don't worry about that. Just In fact, they're already up there. So I went ahead and posted them today earlier. But this first white paper is five by three and three fourths. Then the second one is just a square, two and three fourths. And then this smaller one is two and one and one fourth. Now what you need to do is you need to get some repositional tape. So we're just gonna put a little bit of tape and we're going to position this just where we want it. Now remember, you're going to have a mat under there. So give yourself enough room. So let's go ahead and just line this up. I think I want it about there. Okay. Now we need to go ahead and put some repositional tape on this. And just get some on there. There we go. And just add this right to the top. And I think I want it about right there. It's the same distance. Okay, there we have it. Now you're going to bring in your stamps. And we're going to work with the larger flower. And I'm going to go ahead and do Gorgeous Grape. Because I wanted to use something other than the end colors. And remember, this is a great template that you can use with whatever stamp sets you have. We're going to go, oh, let's see. We're not going to do that. We are going to ink it up with stays on because we are going to do a, a color wash on this paper. So go ahead and get that inked up and just get it positioned right where you want it. I think we're going to bring one up here. Just get it stamped. Now, oh, that's very light, so that's okay. Okay, I'm going to bring one down here. And let's see, I'll bring one over here. And then I'm going to bring one right at the top. Now, we're going to keep our fingers crossed, and I'm going to see if I can get this lined up and stamp over it again. Let's just see. I want to make sure. I love these photopolymers because you can see right through it. Very nice. Now, we want to go ahead and stamp our green leaves. So we're bringing in two different leaves for this. Go ahead and get it inked up really well. We're going to put one right here. We'll get one over here just a little bit. Let's see, I'll move it up. Okay, and now I'm going to bring in the other leaf. This uh, color wash is so pretty. You're going to see, oh my goodness. We were actually coloring it with the blends, but we didn't like it as much as we liked it color washing it. It's just a very light kind of watercolor approach. Let's see. Now we have to have enough room for our message, which I think we can put right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring in a darker 
color that looks dark. So I'm going to use Starry Night just because it stamps so pretty. I'm going to move this just a little closer and get that lined up right there and just hold it for good contact. Ah, and there we have it. So now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and bring in our color wash. I'm going to put the lid on this. And we're going to use this pen that you can get at Stampin' Up! And we're going to bring in one of our acrylic blocks and we're going to use the uh, Gorgeous Grape and just ink that up right in the right in the top. Make sure you have enough. I'm going to go ahead and close it and just mix some water with it. Now remember, the more water you mix, the lighter it's going to be. And we're simply going over it and we're going to leave the center part blank. So just go over it. And because we're using stays on, it won't bleed and it just works very quickly. And you don't have to do it perfectly, right? Because this is like a color wash. It ends up looking very similar to watercolor. This is not watercolor paper, so you want to keep that in mind when you're working with it. You don't want to get too much water on there. I'm going to go ahead and get this one. And you can always go back and get additional. If you want to create some shading, you can do that as well. I'm just going to go ahead and very quickly go over this. Oh, and it makes such a beautiful card. Look at that. It's already starting to take shape. <laughs> oh my goodness. Love, love this technique. And I love the layering of this card. Really, when you add those dimensionals, it just looks so pretty. I'm just going to grab us some more. Very quickly go over it. You can see I'm not taking a lot of time with it. Going over it. And then we will come in with crushed curry on the middle part. Just very quickly. Okay. And there we have that. I'm just going to move that to the side. I'm just going to clean my brush just a little bit. And now I'm going to bring in the crushed curry. Now, you can, if you want, you can squeeze your stamp pad and you can kind of make a mess right there, but I don't like to do that. That's why we go ahead and just use an acrylic block and get our color up there. So we're going to go ahead and just get a little bit of that yellow. Bring, Make sure this doesn't have any purple on it. And where did I put it? There it is. Pick up that yellow and just go over the center part. Look how pretty that looks. Now we're going to move on over, clean this off, and move over and grab our green. And we'll go ahead and use the Parakeet Party. For our leaves, yes, I have water in the pen. I sure do, Pat. And that's what I'm mixing. I have water right here. I squeeze it, and I just mix it right there on that acrylic block. And now we just very lightly go over our leaves. It's very quick. You don't have to be precise. And then if you wanted to, like I said, you could bring in some shading with your blends. You could bring those in or not. I happen to love this color wash. I think it looks very dainty. Look at that. So pretty. Now we're going to let this dry for just a moment and we're going to move on over to our envelope. So let's go ahead and stamp our flower 
on our envelope. Let's find our stays on so that we can create truly a gift pack that you'll be able to take and give to your friends and family. I'm just going to go ahead and ink that up. Now, I want to go ahead and let's see. I'm going to use a post-it note and I'm going to put this right here on the edge of the label so I don't go over it. Okay. Now I'm going to bring in the leaves. Let's see. Go ahead, bring those in right there. Bring another one right here. I'm going to move my post it note over. Okay, and then I'll bring in the smaller leaves, just one, I think. No, I don't have any room, so we won't do that. So I'm going to move that to the side, and now I'm just going to bring in our, let's see, which one do we have? We have our leaves, so let's go ahead and work on our leaves. Just color wash them. And if you need some more, all you have to do is just ink that up and just mix some water with it and color away. Love this process because it is so quick. Okay, so we have our leaves. Now you want to make sure in between colors you always color. You always uh, wipe off your pen and really get that nib cleaned off. And now we're going to move that to this. Let's see, I'm going to clean that off and we're going to go ahead and do our flowers. So we need to bring in our granny apple. And this gives your card time to go ahead and completely dry. So let's go ahead and get this inked up. I'm going to bring in some water and just go over your flowers. Pick up some more. And I like how you don't have to worry about precision, right? You don't have to be really precise when you're doing this color wash. Okay. We'll do a little bit up here. And then we'll come in with our crushed curry and do the inside. Okay, we're gonna clean off once again. Hey, Dawn. So happy you're here tonight. And now we need to clean off our acrylic block, right? So wipe that off so they don't get together and it becomes just a muddy mess. We don't want that. So go ahead and just do it like that. Bring in your water and color the inside. And there we have our envelope. We can simply let that dry over to the side. I'm going to close that. And we're going to bring back in our card and get this put together. So now we are simply going to bring in our base card. Turn it landscape. And we have our first one. <clears throat> that we know we're going to put down just like this. So you can go ahead and just lift this off because you know exactly where to put them. And we're simply going to 
lay this one down and we're not going to raise the base up on dimensionals we're simply going to lay it down with glue okay. now we're going to lay this one down with glue as well we're not going to use the dimensionals until we get to the two smaller levels And I just think this green and gorgeous grape and parakeet party is so pretty. So there we have it. I think I need a little bit more right here, just a tad. Now we are going to lift this up on dimensionals. So go ahead and bring in your dimensionals. And I'm going to put four and then one right in the center, just to give it more stability. And because this is not watercolor paper, I want to say again, you know, you don't want to keep adding water, water, water. Yes, so when you are doing the color wash, you need to use stays on, because if you use a watercolor one, it's just going to be a mess. So now we just need to find out exactly where it needs to go, which is right, but we don't want to do that. We want to put our mat down, right? So go ahead and load it right on your mat. And now we are going to raise this up on dimensionals too, just to give it some height. Take the backing off. And we'll be ready to lay it down. Just have to find exactly where to lay it. And what's nice is when you stamp it, you have that white spot there, but you don't have to worry about it because you have this mat to cover that up. So we're going to go ahead, get this right there. I'm going to raise it up just a little bit. Little more. I'm going to line up that top leaf. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and adhere this to this mat and then raise it up on dimensionals. And you can do all dimensionals if you want it. Just whatever you prefer. How high do you want it when you put it in your envelope, right? This is a perfect gift set. Oh, you use Gina K ink for color. Good to know. We'll have to get that. Hey, Brenda, welcome. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this up on dimensionals. Now, remember, we're going to just need dimensionals right here on this side because... It needs to be added right here. You don't want to put dimensionals here because it's already high enough. It's just going to be right here. So we know that we just need our dimensionals right there. So we're just going to put two. We'll put a little bit of glue right here. And now we're going to line it up. Let's just get that. There we go. Right there. And there's the front of this card. Now, here's our envelope. How pretty is that? Now we're going to make the treat keepsake. Now, what you need for that, let me show you how cute this is. This just continues the gift. How do you clean this stamp after using? We just use our little stamp cleaner and it works perfectly. We just do this. I got some paper on there and it cleans it up. So you don't have to worry about that. And this is just water with the scrubber. You can use a washcloth. No, Brenda, no worries about being late. You can go back and watch the first of it. So we have our layered card. We have 
our envelope, right? So now let's create our treat box. Oh my goodness. So you are going to take a piece of paper that is eight and a half by three and three fourths. And you are going to score it at four and four and a half. This can be something you can do that is so quick, so easy. Now make sure you take your cutting blade and dock it at the bottom so you don't accidentally cut your paper. So four and four and a half. And that's all you have to do for that. We're just going to fold it over so you have that little bottom right there. And now we're just all about decorating the front. So we want it to match our card set. So we have the gorgeous grape, and now we're simply going to do a small little uh, decoration right there. Let's see. We're going to stamp happy birthday. So I wanna go ahead and stamp it. I'm gonna try Orchid Oasis and see how that is see what that looks like just happy birthday right in the middle and you do want to stamp that first because that will tell you exactly where to put your flowers so we're going to go ahead and get our stays on we're going to get our flower and we're going to ink it up really well really push it in there we're going to put one right here right on the tip Then we're going to put one right at the bottom. Right here in the corner. Then we're going to bring in leaves for the rest. We have nice dark. Let's go ahead and bring in some leaves. Bring one over here. Bring in our other leaf. Where is that? Here it is. This one right here. And then we'll put one, one right here at the bottom. And once again, you're just going to do the color wash. Again, and here's a little tip if you don't know about that. Go ahead and take the top of your stays on or any of your ink pads that have a lid for it and put your dimensionals right there on the top. Close it, push it down, and that way you don't have to worry about that falling off every time you open up your ink, right? We love that little trick. So we're going to go ahead and bring in our gorgeous grape. Going to ink up that acrylic block again. And just mix some water with it. And just color. There we have that. Okay, go to the bottom. Very quickly go over it. Clean it off. Clean this off. And bring in your crushed curry. want to go over the inside just a little bit and clean that off it does take a lot of cleaning off though because you want to make sure everything is clean before you go to your next color and then we're going to bring in our green which is parakeet party and wait till you see the little candies we have. Mati picked these up at Walgreens. We're just going to color wash. Pick it up a little more. Get that colored. And like I said, you can always go back over them if they're too light. 
but you don't want to get it too wet. So really the, the deep colors add less water. Come back in. And there we have that. I'm going to move that to the side. And we are simply going to add this with our glue. And get this cute little treat keepsake created. Go ahead. Press down. Just going to add this with glue. Thank you, Dawn, for sharing. We're working so hard to grow our channel, and we need your help. We just appreciate our crafting friends so much. We have so much fun with y'all. We look forward to it every week. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and punch the hole. And it's kind of hard to punch the hole because we are going through several layers. So you could punch the hole first with the green and it wouldn't be quite as hard but I'm just gonna stress my hands out here you go so we have our hole right now we're gonna use our tape runner and we're just gonna put some tape right here and that is strong enough to hold what we're gonna put look at these cute little bunnies oh my goodness Aren't they adorable? She got those at Walgreens. Oh no, I hope they still have these bunnies because they are just too cute. Just put them right inside and get some ribbon. Now we are using this beautiful ribbon and it's called um, oh, Sheer Ribbon. That's interesting. So we're just going to run that through, see if I can get that through, okay, and you can use your, take your pick tool to get that through, and then just tie a ribbon, tie a knot, tie whatever you want. I don't like tying ribbons online because I usually do such a terrible job, but I did okay. I did okay. Okay. So we have this. And now you can just cut off the edges. And there we have it. Now, oh, I want to use these. Oh my goodness, have you seen these glossy dots? Oh wow, are they beautiful? So I'm going to use my take your pick tool and I'm going to put one here. I'm going to put a medium sized one. Let's see, I'm just going to put it right there. Oh, that is just gorgeous. I'm going to bring my card in. I'm going to put a little one on the smaller area. I'm just going to put one down there. And then maybe I'll put a larger one right here and then one right here just to give you that triangle effect. Oh, and look at that. Oh my goodness. So we have that. Now we need to go ahead and on our card put the inside, right? So we're just going to lay that down. And you can bring in uh, another saying. You can put some flowers. We are just going to leave that. And what do you think about this gift set? Uh, my goodness, we just loved this little candy. The chocolates too, of course. And Maudie actually bought some of these that go so nice also in this little candy holder. But what a great little gift set, right? Make a card with that envelope and you also have the candy to drop off at someone's house for this holiday. 
What do you think? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Carol. I'm so happy that you like it. Okay. Well, I tell you, we love this set. We love how the flowers stamp. They stamp so well. And to do this color wash, it's so easy. We were using our blends, and it takes a long time. I mean, it looks quite beautiful. But it, I like things that are quick sometimes. Let's get that card made. I wanted to make a statement. I want the person to enjoy it. So we really liked it. Thank you so much, everyone, for sharing your night with us. We hope that you liked it. We want you to remember that next Tuesday at 10 o'clock, we have our video go up. It's a snap. It's a wrap. And you get to see Maudie and I working side by side together. And that's always a blast, right? <laughs> well, go out and have a blessed Easter. We will be thinking about all of you. Spend time with your family and friends and and just have a wonderful weekend. And we will see you next Thursday at 7.30.